What's up YouTube, we post here in today, it's Victor bringing you guys another part of Pokemon X. And, well, I suppose um, after Bidoof evolved into Babero, we might as well just keep him on this party, because I, you know, he was supposed to just stay a level 4 Bidoof, but if he, he had to have it that he want, he just had to evolve into the Babero. So now I don't, I don't care if he reaches level 60, he, he's, he's gonna be the HM slave who is like level 60 and we, we don't even care about that. This guy gives me a Gracidia flower if I, th right, if I'm right. I need a Shaman for that, of course. Okay. Let's just, uh, you know, I like, I like Snowball City. It's kind of peaceful, you know. Lysander was his name, right? I wonder why he didn't dream bigger. If he said, if he had said he wanted to save everyone in Kalo, sh people, surely people would have supported him. You know, that makes sense. You and your Pokemon look like you've been through a lot together. You know, I got a kid who's right around the same age as you. She's just set off from Vanderbilt Town on a journey of her own recently. I bet she's looking all grown up now. Well, I've been only on this journey for about 12 hours, and I've just got through almost the entire Kalos region, so... I don't know if she... She can do a lot of growing- people can do a lot of growing up in 12 hours. But let's find the gym, because I want to- I want to take that thing on. If- is it this way? There's a bridge this way. And there's houses this way. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff we have to do around here. Hey, little kid! Oh, synchronize, get it. I get it. Synchronize ability, they're twins. I don't have a Jigglypuff, I'm sorry, but that Bisharp is actually very, how do you say, tempting. I'd actually like a Bisharp, but I don't know where I'd put it on my team. Hello Traveler, what sights have you seen with your Pokemon? I have seen so many sights, it is impossible to count them all. What is that side? I don't know. I don't want to know. Let's see what's under this bridge. Ooh, an bomb of snow. And a clothing store. I hate clothing stores. Oh, there's the Pokemon gym. See, I'm so good. With, I'm so good as my direct. So good as my directions. What's new, little blue? If it ain't the future champ, he did disappoint. But the gym leader is not actually here right now. He's he was he was off to the. Oh my god, I can't read stuff. But he's off in the winding woods, so that's where we have to go. Thanks to the cold air that seeps out of the gym, no one in this town needs air conditioning. Yes, because you would obviously want air conditioning in a place like this. You want to give me anything? Oh, that's me. I'm the ladder guy. I like to go defensive. <laughs> Though my, t Though you never want to go defensive in-game because, well, it's really boring. I hate these fighting types. You try this. Thank you. I will, I will try this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that first thing is like, this will raise a tax stat. He's my old friend. He's trying to help people in need. Being convinced of people's stupidity and facing his own limitations led him to conclude that the world could not be saved, which led to his suffering. It's ironic. Help me get through this. But what kind of irony was it? Was it dramatic irony? Situational irony? I don't know any that many ironies. I'm not too good at English. Alright. Well, hey little girl, what do you want? I should really try to be going through the woods right now. Oh, that, I thought that was a person. <laughs> no, it's a, it was just... No, I don't want to look on the TV. I like how it's just... This, this, might, as well, this might also just be a radio. I mean, seriously. If nothing's gonna appear on the screen, you might as well just not have anything at all. Standing here reminds me of the cold region far away. Would you listen to this first song I composed? Yeah, sure, why not? That sounds like something from Twin Leaf Town. Yeah, that sounds like this, the music from Twin Leaf Town and, like, you know, Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Stuff like that. Okay, let, let's head on down to the place where we're supposed to go. I wish I knew where that was. So the city is kind of big. Ooh, ultimate moves. But I don't like those moves because everyone knows those moves suck. No. 
I will not give you the satisfaction of teaching my Pokemon absolutely useless moves. I like how the bite- I actually don't like how the bite changes the music. Okay, there's something over there. Go down here, get that item. Full restore, alright. That's always nice. Let's head down here, up there. Please tell me that the woods are around here. Thank you. I need those woods. Uh, let's see what's in my party. Who's first? Okay, we should put Ribbit up first. Just because I'm assuming that there are trainers here and Ribbit's the lowest level in the and on the team. Let's go in the bag. Oh wait, hold on. Super repel right down here if I can find it. I only have 11 left. 2200 steps. <sighs> we'll have to make do. Apparently you can this rock is for uh, evolving the leafy on. Which way do we go? I'll go this way. A cassib berry. I didn't know you could actually find berries on the ground. Doesn't look like there's anything here besides from a paralyzed heal. I don't know if that's worth the amount of steps I have taken. Because I think my super repel is gonna run out very soon. And when that happens, I'm in for a world of hurt. I'm just running through the grass, carefree as always, because, you know, what's the point in having something like that if you're not going to take full advantage of it? Uh, let's go with... Hmm. I'll put King D up in front. How come close combat isn't like lowering my defenses? You'll see. I'm gonna beat up these children. my uh, healing th item okay wh what is up with all these forks in the path should I use up my healing item or not I don't know if it's worth it I mean to be honest and also these repels are probably why I don't see that many Pokemon Okay, so Doofus is now level 20 and he's gaining levels like crazy. That should that is not acceptable. Should not happen. I don't know where I'm going right now. I'm just I'm just lost. I'll be honest with you guys. I am so lost right now. Okay, let's go this way. Why is this path so Oh my god. Where are the trainers? Are there is there anything here? Oh look who it is. The gym leader. You know what this place is? Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know? Most of Pokemon here are runaways that escape from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for the Pokemon are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are just too strong and found they didn't really have a place in the outside world. So they came here. I see. Your Pokemon seem to think highly of you. You've had some good times together, haven't you? Hey, y'all come out now. This one's alright. Look at those Furfrus and, uh... Talonflame previous evolutions. <laughs> oh, excuse my manners. We haven't even prop had a proper introduction yet. My name is Wilfred. Wilfric? I'm usually over at the gym in Snowball City since I'm a gym leader and all. Let me guess, you want to challenge me? That's right. I thought so. Sorry to inconvenience you like this. I'll be waiting for you back at the gym then. Before you come try, I think it would be good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Wolf. <laughs> I don't know. Um... It doesn't seem like there's anything too interesting here. I mean, you can't go past that area. I don't really want to waste my super repel steps. 
Gotta spray away those Pokemons. Trash can. Okay, let's just head back. I don't really know what this place is about. Because there, there were so many paths in this forest. And to be honest, I need to know what it's the, all those paths are about. Which way did they come from? Come from here? I have no idea. Uh, there's that little girl. I need to. How do I get over there? Come on. Okay, maybe I get over there from here. And then. Uh, yeah. What? Okay. Um. Alright, then if I can't go there, then I have to go here, then, right? Because I don't really know. Okay, I have to go somewhere. Here's a battle. You know, I don't like forests, they're pretty much like caves. I'm gonna go back to Snowbell City, and that's all I have to say. If I can find my way back, jeez. It actually shouldn't be that hard to retrace my steps. Yeah, we're, we're, we're back, we're back. Let's, I th we actually have enough time in this episode to take on the gym. I wasn't planning on doing that, because I thought the forest would take a lot longer to get through. But it doesn't look like we actually have to do that. Um, let me find my way back to the Pokemon Center. There's the gym. The music in this town is actually kind of nice. I like it. Alright, so I can tell um, it's probably an ice gym and not a dragon one because it's snowing all over the place. However, and that would mean that, well, Harmonica has no place in this place, in this gym. Wow, look, that's him looking like a pretty much of a boss. Whoa, what, what is that? What's a dice chunk of ice? How's my f favorite future champ? As you can see, the Snowball City Gym is the place to be if you love ice types. But you already see seven badges from gym leaders all across Kalos, right? I'm sure you don't need any hints from a guy like me anymore, am I right? Right? One more go, eh? Go show him what you're made of, future champ. I will. Thank you very much. Let's head down here, and I don't know if ice resists water. I mean, I know that's weird, but I don't. So apparently it doesn't resist ice. That is crazy. Oh, I should have battled this person when I had the chance. Oh wait, I can still do that. Just have to go like this. Hey man. I don't know if you guys noticed, but that guy's name was Victor as well. But granted, it was spelled with a K and not a C, but it doesn't matter. Hold on, how do I get out of here? I can't get off this place. Um, I'm afraid if I do this, it'll ruin it for me. Yep. Okay, how do I get to the other side? Um, yeah, someone's got to help me with this. Okay, hold on. Maybe I do this, move this back, and then oh wait, now no, I can still get there. And I do this. This will move it over. Oh, I could have. Oh, now I'm stuck on this side and I can't go over there. Well, isn't that just great? Um. Uh... Ah. <sighs> 
Jim is so stupid. It's the most stupid Jim ever. Stupid Jim. Oh, it's so dumb. So dumb. Hold on. I I'm stuck. All right. So now it works. Um, just have to press the pink button a few times, more than I would have liked to, or would have known to do if I was smart. Hopefully this will not be as hard as what I hard as before. I mean seriously, that was too hard to figure out for me. much time to beat Wilf Wolfric, but hopefully we can still manage to do so. Alright, let's, um, this is, con um, say, considering that I don't screw up this whole thing. Alright, we have to make it so that on that side, both of those stairs are now connected. And, I think it they are, I mean... Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Okay, now I trapped myself. Good. Good for me. Okay, okay. This is what... This is the same situation as before, but... Okay, but worse. Okay, we have to make it so that this has both sides free so I can actually leave the platform. Jeez. And now on this side... I need it so that, okay, both sides are, I don't even know what I have to do anymore. Just give me, give me one that works. Give me a side that works. This is a side that works. All right. Let's get ready to take on the gym leader. What do you have to say for yourself before I pwn you and bury you in the ground? You know what? Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means, depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent, yet, yeah, or I could be a total pushover. Anyway, enough of my rambling, let's get the show on the road. You're right, you will be a pushover. He looks like Santa Claus. Look at his plump belly, he is like, oh my god. He looks like a total bus. And he's gonna send out a bomb snow. One of the biggest buses in the world. Luckily, my Charizard will take care of him soon enough with a flamethrower yay and then a bomb snow is now gone all right so what does he have up next Kryogonal. sucky physical defense means king d is good for the job because king d is close combat or maybe a sucky special defense. I think it was physical defense. I'm like 5% sure it was physical defense. Let's try this out. Okay, good. It was physical defense. And now all of my special defense and defense are falling. I can swear that before it wasn't. I can swear that before it wasn't falling. Dragon Pulse. Sure, uh, what do you want to forget? Aura Sphere or maybe Quick Attack? I don't think I need Quick Attack. I mean, I'm already fast enough and Dragon Pulse seems like it could be pretty cool, so... I'm going to learn Dragon Pulse instead of that. Though it is kind of a weak move. Because it's non-stab, but... <gasps> Earthquake! Who needs Bulldoze when you can have Earthquake? Jeez! 
Earthquake, thank you. Man, I didn't know we could learn such a good move. And now he's sending out Avalug. I think that's something that's weak to special on the weak on the special defensive side. Because it is a turtle after all, but it's level 59. That's 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 pretty good. Let's try this out. Okay, good. So one week on a special physical defensive side, one week on a specially defensive side, and one that's just plain weak to fire. Bat press is level 61 now. It's weird. I haven't used it in this episode, so. Outstanding, I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed th me through and through. I know. Isn't that sad? Impressive. Your Pokemon fought with great courage. I can tell that you've trained your Pokemon well. Uh, that's the most boring badge yet, yet. What you have right there is called the Iceberg Badge. As long as you have that, any of all your Pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you this too. Ice Beam! You know what this is? Ice Beam. 100% accurate move. Not only that, but every once in a while it will freeze the target if it hits. Hope you've learned your lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough, but it'll also render you fragile. You better, you're better off being flexible, you know what I mean? Some people are fluid like water can adapt to their environment without changing it. What's important inside. Not me though, I guess I'm too stubborn. That's why I love ice types. Wow, moral lesson as well. And what is this? That's a pretty cool gym. That's all I can say. Nice. Nice. All right. So next episode, we are going to be heading towards the Victory Road because that is what's important. The future champ, I know, I know, and love. Looks like you've trumped our old gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right? Am I right? Since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. Yep, that's where we're headed next. You know what that means? You have all all the badges now, so there's only one thing left to do. It's time you head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon. There's no limit to what you can achieve. I will. Thank you for telling that telling me that. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. So long. Thanks so much for watching.